Lord, but this is something else that I'm going to speak on, man. GMS again. Great millstone. You know what I'm saying? So, on the lighter end of last week, some things came out, right? Elder Apostle Taha made a video, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, he... It was, it was it was this video we out like but it seemed like it was Edomites kissing his feet and the purpose of that video was pretty much the purpose of the, his purpose of that video right was to weed out those that wanted to be entertained the real reason for that video through the spirit was just to have an excuse to bring up brothers man you know what I'm saying? To come down, to come down unnecessarily hard on brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all that was, man. You know? You a hypocrite. You, Elder Apostle, Elder Apostle Taha, and Elder Apostle Gabal, y'all some hypocrites, man. You know? Because y'all want that same treatment. You know? A huge majority of us want that same treatment. Y'all ain't nobody special, man. You know? Y'all know about, we all know about these. At the end of the day, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua could raise up a six month year old, okay? With more understanding than everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua could raise up a six, month, a six month old with spiritual powers. Raising the dead, creating food out of thin air. So y'all need to chill, man. We all are disposable. We need to move as such, man. You shouldn't be proud, man. You shouldn't feel like you over a brother. You know what I'm saying? You got more, all right, you got more understanding than a brother. You know what I'm saying? You've been in the truth longer than a brother. All right, you, you respect that. But y'all moving as if y'all just better than brothers, man. And y'all not. You know? So is on me, man. You know what I'm saying? People, we, man, we already know the story with people like y'all. Y'all on y'all hot horse until shit hit the fan, man. And in the real, you gonna be revealed, man. Manasa Zakba, I'm talking about you. I be doing that, man. You too, Elder Apostle Taha, that's corny. That was effing corny. Flat out corny, man. So, aha, uh -huh. got your time for a house cleaning. Do your house cleaning, Elder Apostle Taha. What you don't understand is that you don't control the Rakakwa Dash. Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha controls the Rakakwa Dash. And if it's of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha's will, the brothers to teach, don't they not GMS members? They're gonna teach the elect. You can kick brothers out. Being in a camp don't mean nothing. Being in GMS doesn't mean anything. It means absolutely nothing. So do your house cleaning. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles, apostles, also the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors also to you, other brethren, you fellow believers of the faith, and Shalom to the elect. Anyway, before I get started, this video was sent to me by the Kingdom of Heaven is on Earth. The brother in my camp, Taza Warrior. Uh, shared this video and uh, I just wanted to touch on this a little bit quite a few things to go into um, on some things that he said but this is why a lot of you guys you know a lot of Jake you can't take serious you know the double honors they put their fists up and salute but they're really not giving double honors I wouldn't be surprised if if it was the the, the spirit came down and said don't even do it don't say it because you got a lot of Jake, a lot of these guys who say they, they love the apostles. But anyway, a lot of these guys aren't cut from that cloth. They don't understand that a lot of things are done for correction, for reproof, for rebuke. I mean, they should know the scriptures, and I'll get into that. He got plenty pissed because the um, he said that, you know, the Edom bowed down, and it was like, you know, he basically was trying to make a fool out of you, and they got upset, you know. So, we'll get into that. I mean, to whom it may apply, you know. 
um, 1 Timothy 5 and 1, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father, right? A lot of Jake don't have their father, so they don't even understand. And if they do, their father's out of order. And the younger men as brethren, right? The elder woman as mothers and the younger sisters with all purity, right? So the scripture says, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. Why is this said? Because you had Jake who would rebuke elders for things like this when it was really meant to correct you and, sh and shake you back up and get you on course. You know, nobody told you to leave. You decided to leave because you were offended. Right? That's what it was. You got offended. Or the offense. And and what does that mean? A stumble. A stumble. You stumbled. Right? So, if the Lord raised up a six-month-old, this is what he said, then you have a lot of phonies. <laughs> a six-month-old probably couldn't handle it. Right? Unless the Lord wanted them to. But, you know, when he says that, what is, what is it saying is, a lot of these younger guys, they just have an issue. They just can't fall in order. They can't be humble. I did a harsh rebuke on brothers and family to a degree. I mean, Ken. That's in the truth. And it worked. Right? I mean, a lot of these guys don't come from that cloth, man. You know, my mother would even come up to the school and curse me out, you know? Scripture says endure hardness as a good good soldier he said there ain't nothing special but the scripture says the lord um, um the lord has made thee a special people starting with the elect there is an order so now i'm gonna just dive into some scriptures first peter 5 and 6 humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time humble yourselves under the mighty hand of yahweh by shim yahweh that he may exalt you in due time. Now, how you exalt it is through men. How you think you get exalted? How do you think you learn? Ultimately, from the spirit of the Lord through these men and the Lord dealing with you to help exalt you. But how do you get known? How do you get be able to teach and be able to edify? Through the spirit of the Lord, use men to teach you, to raise you up. I don't understand why these people don't get this. So look at, let's look up this word, humble yourselves. Um, humble yourself. Let's see what that say. Let me see. It says, humble yourselves in this, in a, um, under the mighty hand of the Lord. It says, by the help and agency of anyone, by means of anyone. Right? And upholding it. Well, no, that's not humble. Let me see. Humble yourselves. Let's see where that is. There's a lot of you, Jake. You won't. You won't humble yourselves, man. It says to humble is to make low, to bring low. Okay, to level, reduce to plane to a plane. So what should have happened is when this guy heard what he heard and he said it was house cleaning. What should have happened was the fear of the Lord, right? Fear of the Lord, okay? Through the spirit and the power of the Lord through these men, right? That is telling you to do right. I set this stumbling block up to see if you're going to get caught. And you got caught in the trap. You know? So... It's all in the psychology of it. Let's go to the psychology. Now, the word in the regular dictionary means the study of the mind. Psyche is the mind. But when you go into the online etymology, it says the study of the soul. Right? Study of the soul, the breathed spirit, the soul. The phenomenon, the phenomena of the mind is attested. Right? So basically, it's the, uh, the soul, the watch over the soul. Psychology goes back to the soul. So when you go here to Hebrews, Hebrews 13 and 17, it says, Obey them that have rule over you. 
Well, that's what it is. And submit yourselves for they watch over your souls, your psyche. Because a lot of you, a lot of your souls are prideful and corrupt. And I went through my stages of coming into truth and had a certain ways of thinking. But you have to pray that off and get your shit together. How tough are you in the spirit? You know? The Lord is not dealing with the weak. For they watch over, they watch for your souls. So when that came out, the main thing should have came to your mind is, well, maybe I'm just looking at doing this too much for the entertainment. Maybe I need to be watching more of the edifying videos instead of these kind of videos. You know, even myself, I, I kind of watch everything. But I, I've been in it and I do a lot of videos and even deal with things like this. So you got a lot of Jake that that's all they want to do. They want to see the controversial videos. So this is Apostle Tahar telling you, watching over your soul, telling you, don't get caught out there like that because there's going to be other things that happen that you're going to get caught in. You didn't even survive the first test of it. What about when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah bring more of these tests down? One of the big tests is the MOTB. Are you going to get caught in that trap? And that's another thing. You've learned that. You've taught that, I believe. You've learned the name of the Lord. You're breaking down the Hebrew. All these things from these men. But now, they're hypocrites. Because they set a stumbling block in front of you to, to help you and watch over your soul. That's crazy. It's not always going to be nice. A lot of you Jakes want somebody to pat you on your back and say, oh, it's going to be okay. Don't do that no more. This is not cool, man. <laughs> it's not always going to be like that. Let's look at the mighty hand, G5495. Humble yourselves unto the mighty hand of God, right? The mighty hand of the Most High, Yahweh. And that's starting with the, the, the Most High, His Son, the men that set up, right? I always got to keep saying that because we don't want people to get confused and think we're putting men over the Lord. It's an order. But it's coming down and it goes back up, you know? Now you pray to the Lord. Okay, and then I'll get the other scripture. And that should be pretty much it. I like to just make the good points. Um, the mighty hand is to help or agency of anyone by means of anyone. In determining and controlling the destinies of men. So how does that happen? Right? So let's go to, I think it's Ephesians 5 and 11. It says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of of darkness but rather reprove them so this is definitely going into our people meaning correct them and this is talking about Israelites you know that know the Israelites as well it says but rather reprove them so we're going to go into this word reprove <clears throat> that's what it see and have no works Reprove them. G sixteen fifty one. It says here to convict, to, to refute, to confute. Generally with a suggestion of shame of the person convicted. Right. So that's all a, a part of it. To conviction, to bring to light, to expose, to tell you, look, man, this is not all about bowing down and kissing foot feet videos. Not only that, the videos that cursing out, you know, the white man and this and that. Take some of the, um, have a balance with it. It's okay if you want to see something like that every once in a while. But you should, you should always have some balance. Right? You should be always looking for the more prophetic things. Okay? Shame means painful emotional caused by consciousness or guilt. Shortcoming in propriety, right? The condition of humiliating disgrace or <laughs> disrepute. Ignog it says ignominy, 
Let me see what that say. Ignominy. 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 Okay, deep personal humiliation and grace. I mean, disgrace. Salaka, a deep personal humiliation and disgrace. Disgraceful or dishonorable conduct, quality, or action. Right? So even if you felt like, I don't think that was right for Basel to hard to do that, you know, you got to take the, 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 the bitter with the sweet and say, well, maybe this is telling me something. And if I'm not that of that cloth, then, hey, maybe that's somebody else. But really, we all can le learn from that, to be honest, that that hasn't been pushing that long. You know, especially the ones that's new and haven't been in the truth. And I've been in for some years. Hey, and I still, you know, still learn from things and and push on. Hey, Jake, Jake just makes things much difficult or more harder than what it has to be. Anyway, to shame of a person convicted, to bring to light, to expose, to find fault with, to correct. So really what was done was no different than him reaching out to you and say, well, look, you guys, all you want to do is see the videos of the controversy. You don't want to see the videos of the truth. And how many Jakes would sit up there and say, yeah, I agree. Con Apostle was correct. Nope. They would never, they, they would never agree to that. You know, just like the three video a week thing. <laughs> Jake just doesn't have that the 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 psychology of of how to do things. Really, the spirit, you know, it's just what it is. And you know, come on, man, this, this truth don't come. See, a lot of Jake's coming to the truth for a reputation. That's another issue, and that's all it is. And when they get got because they told all the brothers, look, look at the video. Uh, to reprehend severely, shy, admonished, to reprove, to call to an account, to show one his fault, demand an explanation, <laughs> to chasten, to punish. You know, I don't think a lot of Jake understand that when you come in the truth, you're a child and you have to be taught all over again and along with being taught all over again, you will get punished. You will get exposed. You will be reproved. It's just some how you deal with it. I have my bouts with some things, but how do you deal with it? How do you overcome it? Scripture says a wise man love rebuke. Surely oppression make up a wise man mad. And that word mad, when you look it up, means wiser, means sharper, which means you become a little angry at the world because you're smarter this shouldn't be the first thing on your mindset of of uh, uh white women bowing down kissing your feet anyway that's all i have on that shalom